Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Rayman 2 Revolution. And we are heading to the Menhair Hills to fight some robo-pirates with Clark. You know, once Rayman gets done playing around. You done, Rayman? Is he ever going to stop? This is going on for a bit longer than I was hoping for. He's like, ah, Clark can handle himself. I mean, he's he did carve the land. Like, he is to the Rayman series what Din is to the Zelda series. So I'm sure Clark can handle himself. But we have to press forward anyways. This place is guarded by a walking shell. It seems you can tame it by tiring it out. Thanks for the tip. No problem. And by a walking shell, he means a bombshell. It will explode if it touches you or runs into anything. So we could tire it out and tame it. But for now, let's do some exploring. We'll hit this switch here. And that opens up the grating that was blocking this hole over here. Which leads to a cage and some lums. Anyways, is there anything else around here? Like, that door's just the way out. That was the entrance. I don't think there's anything else here, so let's tame this shell. Because we can't get across those brambly things. succeeded in taming the missile. Press the square button to accelerate and the cross button to jump off the missile. Warning, you cannot jump off the missile if you accelerate. Uh -huh. Go! All right, so let's use them to break this thing. Be ready to jump off. And that gets us a cage. Military Academy, please respect the need for total silence for the cadet's concentration. So we're going into the Military Academy. Also, Mur this is the only version of the game where Murphy talks once you get on the shell. Probably because a lot of people died when they first got on it, not knowing what to do. Because if you run into stuff, you know, you'll blow up. Not if you just barely bump something, but... Um, okay, so there's a lot of pirates here. I knocked one out already. We're able to go into this store just fine. There's a door here, though, that we can't go through yet, which means this is yet another level we have to come back to. But we got a cage there. Got a few more pirates to fight out here. One of those... I think one of them might have got destroyed by another pirate. Just because, like, of the angle when I was back here, the green one was shooting the purple one. Oh, hey, we can do another mini game with Lee. It'll be more fun than the chair. 
I mean, the chair concept is fun, but it was just a pain to actually do. We actually need to go to this level three times. But you'll see why later. So I could tame this shell, but first let's explore. Bounce on these mushrooms and swing across to get to the cage over here. I was really confident that I could get that in style while jumping out. Could not do that. Why is this one being so finicky? Come on, just get it. Rayman! Okay, thank you. This guy's still hanging out over here? On the other versions, they disappear after a while. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to turn fast enough. Here we go. Let's see how well we can do actually having to ride this thing for a while. So the left path there gets you some red lums while the right path gets you a yellow. So obviously we want the right path at least on our first time through this level. In the PS1 version of the- oops. Yeah, on the PS1 version, of, uh, I guess it doesn't matter saying that now. I'll say it when I get back there. Let's try speed boost. Not while going on one of those curves, though. Here's some speed boost. I tried to jump and it didn't work and I lived anyways. But yeah, on the PS1 version of the game another shell would start chasing you here. And you'd have to outrun it. The red lums appear to be gone, so there's no more reason to go that way. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, got all the lums. Yeah, and then a door would close there, leaving the guy that was chasing you behind. Let's just take care of this guy now. Just one-shot him while he's sleeping. I'm gonna hold off on that switch. There's a sign here. Elite Troop Training Center, danger. Well, he didn't seem very elite. He died to one hit while sleeping on the job. Anyways, there's stuff to find in here. Though I'm, I don't think we can do this yet. No, we do not have the ability to start fires yet. Huh. 
Okay, well, I guess let's just move on then. That switch will open this door, and look who it is! Hmm. Only 20 pirates against you? They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Hello, little buddy. You want to arm wrestle? Hey, you don't look so good. Are you hurt? I must have swallowed something bad for me. To get better, I need some life potion. It's hidden near the entrance of the Marshes of Awakening. In a place called the Cave of Bad Dreams. Don't forget that name, or else the guard won't let you pass. Cave of Bad Dreams? I won't forget. Hang in there. I'll go to the marshes and get the elixir. Th uh, thanks, little buddy. Yeah, so I didn't show this, but if you go to the Cave of Bad Dreams early... Uh, yeah, if you go to the Cave of Bad Dreams early, then Rayman... Yeah, if you go there early, then Rayman won't know the name of the Cave of Bad Dreams, and he won't be able to enter. I kind of wish I would have shown that, but I would have had to beat a level more times than necessary in order to show that. So I didn't. Anyways, let's head back to the Minosaurus Plain. I guess. But we can go visit Lee first. She's got a mini game for us. Okay, so we did the roller coaster challenge, now we've got the jump challenge. If I'm right, this was one of the three unlockable mini-games in the Globox Village in the Dreamcast version of the game from getting the globe crystals. But here we get to play them through this means. And this is a really simple one. Uh, best time, 21.28 seconds. Guess we just gotta beat that. Go! Collect the lums as fast as you can. I don't think I'm taking the most efficient route through this, but... I also didn't know how this would look before doing this. No, you didn't grab it, Rayman. Well, that was easy, and I kind of expected it to be.
Well, now that we've got more max health, we can go head to the Marshes of Awakening. Actually, we want to go to the Magic Well. Let's see if that power-up actually gives us the ability to light fires. Glowbox's house? That's not where I was intending to go. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, Accumulation 2. And now we can't buy anything from that category anymore. So I guess we'll wait until we have 90 lums. I mean, Rebound and Rate of Fire. I think Rebound would probably be better. I don't know. I don't know which would be better. Because I'm just thinking you can't hit the same person multiple times in a row because they have the invincibility frames. Did you just see that? Look at this power up. That's crazy. Anyways, let's get back to the Minosaurus Plain and get to the Marshes of Awakening. Okay, anyways, enough trying to trigger dialogue or whatever. Now that we're back here, I'm kind of curious why we're still missing two lums. But, um, whatever, we'll deal with that later. Maybe we'll find it on the way to the Marshes of Awakening. Or maybe they're just in the water somewhere, like I initially thought. I don't know. Like, I legitimately thought that there were lums down here. But it just doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, I have no clue where those last two lums are. Oh, look, there's... 
there's pirates here now. That I can one-shot. So I wonder if those p one pirates are attacking the Globox kids now. Yeah, I'm not seeing these lums anywhere. Anyways, let's head to the Marshes of Awakening. It's not a long level. Yeah, it's not a long level, so we can do this now. Now, in most versions of Rayman 2, the entrance to the Cave of Bad Dreams would be on a tree, like, uh, you'd follow the root of a tree over there to get into a little cave. But in this version of the game, they needed an excuse for you to actually play the Marshes of Awakening, since it didn't work on a world map system, it worked on a hub world system. So in this version, the entrance to the Cave of Bad Dreams is at the end of this level, even though Clark said it was at the entrance. Also, on the PlayStation 1 version, you once you finished that part of the Menhair Hills, the Cave of Bad Dreams literally just popped up on your map. You didn't have to go back to the marshes or anything. But in our case, this is our first time at the Marshes of Awakening. And our first time meeting our water snake friend, Sam. Tell me, do you know where to find the four masks of Polycus? Sorry, Rayman, but I don't know what you're talking about. But I did see the glow box get captured by two pirates. They took him somewhere out beyond the marshes. If you like, I can help you get over to the other side. You can grab onto my scarf by shooting at it. Then press the cross button to jump and the L2 button to accelerate. Alright, so this is a water ski level, which means auto scroller, which means good luck collecting everything. That big thing there is an egg. He gets drunk on strange brews. Ah, zombie chicken! Well, we got everything so far, we just died, and now we can get this health back. Oh. We didn't get everything so far, actually. I just noticed a yellow lum I missed. So let's go get that. Hello! Alright, so we've got to do a jump. There we go. Get away from me, Eeg. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm having a hard time seeing these zombie chickens. It just seems like they're popping up out of nowhere. Which, you know... 
being zombies, they probably are. I died intentionally there, c just because I knew I was getting close to the end of that segment, and I wanted to make sure that I actually got everything. I think you do two laps around that segment, so... You know, I would have had a chance to get the stuff I missed, but... You know, I didn't want to risk accidentally finishing the section without having everything. I tried to get around them so hard. I guess you just can't get around them to the right. Gonna have to go left. Yeah, you wanna swerve around them there. I hate missing that. I know I can get the cages the second time around, but I don't want to risk just missing them. But I might have to get them on the second time around just because Sam's pathing might be different on his second lap. But hey, at least it's not like on most, um, most versions of Rayman 2. Where the cages drop lums. There we go, I got all of them. So then you'd have to get the cages on the first lap and then the lums on the second lap. Is it, does it do two or three laps? It's normally two. I wasn't counting there. It felt like three, but it might have only been two. Normally that part there is where the egg would show up when you just come into this section. But he appears much more often here in the PS2 version. In fact, I think he might have appeared in the bayou level, didn't he? Or did he? Because he doesn't appear in the bayou level on any other version. He wasn't even in the PS1 version. Yeah, the thing about uh, auto-scrollers and collectathons is you're gonna be dying a lot. Whether it's intentionally or not. Well, I started to get eaten by that guy. I don't know if you saw the sparks in his mouth, but that's a sign that you're being eaten. Because he can eat you. I think if you stay in for long enough, his mouth closes. Although I've heard that that was only on the Dreamcast version. Sam, please, I'm trying to wipe out. Thank you. <laughs> it just wasn't breaking the tether, and it was making me really nervous. I think it's on the PS1 version where if you land, like on the little walkway... You actually disconnect from Sam, and then he stops, and you have to reconnect. 
No. What do you mean I missed that? Please disconnect. It's not disconnecting. I promise, I will. I will miss you, my friend. Me too. No time to lose. I hope that wasn't a checkpoint. If it was, it's not a big deal. Also, this little secret over here, like, this is the only version that has this. Ah, oh, that was a checkpoint. Okay, we gotta redo this level, but we can do that now. Because we'll just follow this teensy. Warning, this is unknown territory. Tourism may be hazardous. And there's Jano, but we'll talk about him next time. For now, we're following this teensy so that we can redo this level and get the one lum we missed. How many total lums do we have? Oh, that's not gonna tell me. You will find the cave of I don't think I can afford another power-up right now. So let's just go back into the Marshes of Awakening, other than, you know, run with load, which I'm not interested in. Okay, it puts us right here by Sam, too. And this will be much quicker since we don't need to collect things, although we'll still at least try to get the health. Because we're suffering a bit there. I tried to weave. I went left around the first one, and that... Typically means right around the second one, but it didn't work that way this time. Oh my gosh, now I've got to go left around all of them before it was left, right, left. Why is it different? Is it because I'm speeding up? What's happening? Well, I did it that way this time. I'm not sure why it had to be done that way, but okay. Okay, so it looks like it is three laps. Now to get the single lum that we missed. I'd better not miss it again or I'm gonna be super upset, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what ends up happening. Oh, 
I totally jumped straight through it, too. Oh, no, I see what happened. I'm not gonna be able to get off of it. Why? Oh my gosh. This is awful. Yeah, my depth perception was totally off for that, but now we gotta go play this a third time. This is stupid. It would be less stupid if I had less loading screens to wait through. But yeah, see, my depth perception was off. I was under the impression that, um, that the Lum was directly above the boat, but it's not. It's hanging off the side of the boat at the end of a fishing rod. Okay, now left doesn't work. Why is it being so inconsistent? And now it does work, okay. You know, I wonder if speeding up would make it easier to let go of Sam, just in case I miss the Lum again. Because, like, I intentionally slowed down so that I'd have more time to try to disconnect. But I think speeding up might make it easier to disconnect. And I thought this level would be fast because of how short it was. I didn't realize I'd have to play it three times. Maybe more. There we go. Well, the good news is we finally 100% at a level that we're not required to 100%. But anyways, that will be it for this video. In the next video, we confront Jano and head to the Cave of Bad Dreams. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.